When I first started playing Stellaris, I was overwhelmed. I didn't know how to start. I didn't know what would be the best civilization. I didn't know what direction to take, uh, yada, yada, yada. So this video is an attempt to remedy that. Uh, there aren't any other videos out there on the web that I can find that address the, give you an idea how to start a Stellaris game uh, to, as a beginner. Uh, I have a web page of my website fully dedicated to that, but no videos. So for better or for worse, this is my attempt to remedy that and give you a visual idea of uh, how to start playing Stellaris as a beginner and what the best settings are you can choose to, to make the learning experience easy and uh, fun. My philosophy is keep it simple. So once you launch the, start the launcher, um, the best thing to do is go to the DLCs and disable them all. You do that by clicking on this DLC uh, menu item and then up here there's a button that says all DLC enabled. You just click that to turn it off. Then you would go back to home. The next thing to do is to um, start a new game obviously. So you click that and the first thing you have to do is select an empire to play. And I've got a lot of custom empires here but they're all grayed out because I disabled my DLCs. The easiest uh, Empire to play as a beginner is United Nations of Earth. They have familiar concepts and it makes it easier to play when you can uh, identify with another human. Once you've selected your empire, you just click the uh, select button here mm -hmm. and that'll bring you up to the game details screen which can seem pretty overwhelming at first. Here are the settings that work best for me as a beginner. I started out with a uh, galaxy size of 400 that just reduces the amount of space you have to play in. It can make for a quicker game. Uh, I left the galaxy shape set to elliptical, which is default. Things like a spiral or a ring can give you problems in case you end up next to a, an ancient empire that's too strong for you to go through to expand your empire. As for the randomized check marks, I turn all those off. And for AI empires, I'll set that to a nice low number around four. As for advanced AI stars, I'll just say zero. I don't want anybody having a head start on me. Uh, level the playing field, make it easy to understand. Same with Fallen Empires. These are guys that have been around forever. I turn that off because uh, once again, there's no reason to fight somebody who's more advanced than you when you're just trying to learn the game. Tech tradition cost should be at one, if not set it there. Habitable worlds, it probably default to one. I like to set up to 1.25, and I even leave this way at, in my regular games. I just like having more planets to colonize and having a bigger empire. It means more micromanagement, but uh, uh, in my own weird way, I kind that I find that kind of fun. So with the with the worlds habitable worlds set at 1.25, that that bumps up the number of worlds you can use slightly. Uh, the, the more quickly you learn how to manage an empire, the, the better off you are. Primitive civilizations, I'll usually leave that alone. As for the crisis strength, I like to weaken that a little bit. It'll probably be set at one. I like to go down to maybe around 0.75. This, uh, that's essentially the end of the game if you play it that far. Uh, it just makes it a little easier to handle the end game, end game crisis and learn how to uh, handle it. Um, I leave this alone, I leave these defaults alone, mid game years, mid game start year at 2300, and end game start year at 2400. There are various difficulty uh, levels in the game, anywhere from Cadet to Ensign, they get harder as you go along. Cadet is the easiest one, uh, that's what I recommend to learn how to play the game. The, the AI might give you a challenge, but not much. But uh, it's a good way to lay the game, learn the game. Scaling difficulty is off, and I leave that off. That stops an empire from becoming too fair powerful as the game goes on. Kind of keeps them dumb. Set the I set the AI aggressiveness to low. I don't want like being attacked. But more of I learn how to use my ships and and things like that. Uh, so setting that to low will uh, give me a. Uh, I don't know, just keep things on an even playing field. Empire placement, uh, that's a new one since I started the game, playing the game. I like clusters, I'll just leave it at the default. Advanced neighbors, I turn that off. Uh, hyperlane density, abandoned gateways, wormhole, uh, wormhole Paris. Anyway, 
Everything from here on down, I will pretty much leave at the default. I leave the Iron Man mode off. So once I've got those settings ready, I will click play and I am off for the races and playing my first game of Stellaris as a beginner. This was a pretty quick uh, intro to how to start the game as a beginner, but I have a lot more detailed information at a webpage on my website, LonerStrategyGames.com. So if you want to learn more about it or just want to learn more about uh, Stellaris in general or any other uh, strategy games for that matter, check me out at LonerStrategyGames.com. I'll try to place a link or two in the description text below. Thanks a lot.